All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. I am Slips, and you are watching Slips Reactions. Today, I'm going to be reacting to a song by Nick Natoli called I Wonder. It was requested on my most recent video with uh, Jelly Roll and Upchurch. Um, so, someone commented, I've never even heard of Nick Natoli as far as I know. Um, so, this guy is completely new to me, never heard the song. So, um, yeah. Um, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. Also, comment down below what you want to see me react to next. Also, any positive feedback you could uh, have for me on how I can improve these videos, uh, I do appreciate it. I'm going to try to break down as much uh, lyrics as he is. I don't know if this guy is like a lyric-heavy guy or not, but I'm going to do my best. So, without further ado, let's hop into I Wonder by Nick Natoli. <laughs> I wonder why Tupac had to get shot. One of the greatest rappers alive, but it was more that we lost. A conscious brother on the verge of creating a spark. Mm. So now we hating just to hate like racism in the dark. I mm. wonder if Lenin never caught those bullets of the government would ever let him live his life to the fullest. I wonder if Martin ever felt like a king or do we rob him of that like separating angels from wings? Okay, so he's saying, you know, I wonder why did Tupac have to get shot? It wasn't just a great that we lost. You, you know, say he lost a conscious person. You know, saying he lost someone that was very conscious about uh, life and uh, being part of uh, the communities and living in like the ghettos and different things. He was a very, you know, um, he wasn't just a rapper. He was, you know, he's an influence to a lot of the, um, you know, people growing up like he did. You know, um, and then he said, um, "I wonder if Martin Luther ever felt like a king." Um, and then what he says is something about getting separated by wings. Um, so, you know, Martin Luther King, does anybody say, did he ever feel like a king? Um, so he's just kind of going through different things. Like, you know, I wonder, like, we all have thoughts like these. Like, why does this happen? Why does this happen? Why did these people die and these people live kind of like that? Uh, join us, Luke, join us, joiner, Luke, or, <laughs> I'll learn to talk eventually. Sorry, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. I just got off work. But it's like that Joiner Lucas song, uh, Devil's Work, where he's talking about, you know, all the people dying. Why, why can't you take this person, this bad person, and give us back this good one? This isn't what this guy's saying, but it's a similar uh, concept. All right, back into it. In Houston, sing one last tune. I wonder why the greatest artists always die too soon. I wonder if Kurt caught one in the head because Courtney Love was just too much. He'd rather end it instead. Mm. I wonder why. I wonder if never... Kurt took one to the head um, because Courtney Love was just too much, so he'd rather be dead. Uh, Kurt Cobain, uh, lead singer of Nirvana. Um, so he's saying, I wonder if, you know, his wife, Courtney Love, was just too much to handle, so he'd just rather be dead. So, as we know, he um, supposedly shot himself in the head with a uh, shotgun. Um, that's a big conspiracy that people think whether or not he actually really killed himself or not. But back into it. I'm liking the song so far. I, I like these types of songs because they have a, a message behind them. They're not just, you know, rapidy rap, you know, but kind of got some little bit of wordplay here and there, and I like it so far. I don't know who this guy is, but I'm going to check him out some more. Value their worth. I wonder why Mike Jack had blood on his shirt. I wonder why Kanye minister in my church. I wonder why 27 is the mark of a curse. I wonder mm. why. I wonder why. Seven is the mark of a curse. I wonder why hmm. Robin Williams is dead. The funniest man alive was just unhappy, I guess. I wonder hmm. if Hugh Hefner. Yeah, he said, I wonder if uh, Marley, uh, one more last joint in the air, you know, Bob Marley saying anything, you know, because he's a big uh, weed smoker. So I wonder if he lit one last one up in the air. Um, he said, I wonder why Prince didn't just take the stairs. Um, and then he, what he said at the end, I just caught that last one. Oh, why, I wonder why Robin Williams had to die. He's one of the funniest men alive. I wasn't happy, I guess. You know, um, you know, Robin Williams. I like Robin Williams a lot of his movies and stuff. He's he's a very funny guy. Um, 
you know, it's, you know, it's, you know, it's sad that all these people, you know, all, all these people, you know, died and different things. You know, it sucks. But um, he's just saying like, why is one of the funniest people that make all of us laugh, you know, wasn't able to even, I guess, you know, make himself happy, and making other people happy. And he, you know, some some of the happiest people, he, you know, he seemed like he was at least out in the public, like he's a happy guy. But sometimes, like they always say, check on your happiest friends, you know, because some of them might actually be hiding a lot more on the inside than what they want to show. Because some people don't like to show their, um, you know, their emotions, so they keep it on the inside. So you know, he might be happy when he went out in the public, but when he went home, you know, you don't know what goes on behind closed doors in his, you know, head and stuff. So and we'll never know. So moving on. Getting bitches in heaven. I wonder if Elvis is really playing chess with the devil. I wonder if we're really gonna see our own Armageddon. I wonder what really happened in New York 9 11. 3,000 that was lost, but the whole world was affected. I wonder if, as a people, we could just stop this regression. I wonder if instead of guns, we could shoot love and affection. I wonder if the song will ever reach someone and affect him. I wonder. Mm. Damn. I don't know who this guy is, but if he's got a lot more music like this, I'm gonna have to definitely check him out because. I love um, a message that gets across when uh, you, um, in your music. I mean, getting me a message across in your music is, you know, a great thing to me, you know. I love, like I said, Eminem, I've said it many times, he's one of my favorite rappers, Lil Wayne, a lot of them, you know, a lot of their songs are just lots of lyrical wordplay and stuff. I mean, they both have messages and stuff in, their, in a lot of their songs, but um, this really, it really does sit here and makes you wonder, you're just like... You know, you get done with the song, you're just like, you're just sitting back there like, damn, like, I do wonder, you know, you know, wonder, you know, the, like you said, about the New York 9-11, um, you know, why'd that have to happen? You know, 3,000 people died, um, and he wonders if this song will get to someone, or will affect someone with the message, and I'm like, shit, I mean, it's, you know, I like the song, so shout out to Nick Natoli, it really affected me with the message, you know, it's making me, you know, makes me think about that stuff, and I've thought about a lot of that stuff throughout my life. Like I said, I'm sure a lot of us do. We sit there and think, whether you have family members, I've had family members pass away, you know. Um, some people young, some older, you know. Sometimes you just wonder, like, you know, um, why they have to go so soon. You know, it just depends, you know. Um, whether you believe in God, whether you don't, you know. Some people do, and, you know, they say he's got a plan. Um, you know, whether you do or not, everything happens for a reason. I'm a full-on believer in that. Um very good song. I think it's almost over. I'm going to check and let the, the chorus ride out and see if there's anything else he says. But overall, I love the song. Two solid verses from uh, Nick right there in that song. Um, I'm definitely right after this video. I'm gonna go look and see more into his music. I don't know if I listen to a lot of it because I'd like to save it for some videos that people uh, have other requests. Um, he must not be a huge, like I said before, a huge rapper because um, I've personally never heard of him. But those different underground artists that I might know that other people don't, you know. So, um, like I said, overall great song. I love the message. Um, I love the meaning behind it. Um, it was a very, the, the beat was nice and kind of smooth and mellow. The chorus was nice. I don't know if that's him kind of singing that on the chorus. Um, I'm assuming it is because it doesn't say it's featuring anybody. So I like kind of how it was drowned out in the background and it's kind of smooth. And overall, like I said, I like the message. Great song. Try not to repeat myself too much, but I really enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Also comment down below any other songs you want. Uh, if you're a fan of Nick Matoli, let me know what um, some of his other best songs are to look at um, and listen to because I definitely want to check out more of his music. Um, he could end up being someone I listen to more on the daily if he's got a lot more songs like this. This is something I could listen to a couple times, I think, a few times and many more times than that. Um, I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, if you're new, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell notification. I try to upload at least uh, one video a day, usually early in the morning, about 6 in the morning because I get off work, record it, upload it. Um, so yeah, um, hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, peace.